Hi, I'm Janty Blair. I'm 57 years of age. I live in Mianjin on the lands of the Turrbal and Yuggera people. I'm a Bachelor Mananjali Wapabara woman with connections to Cobble Cobble and Waka Waka country. So yeah, I saw Mandy Nolan. She was hosting a charity event in Byron Bay. So that night I was so inspired. Um, I'm in my third year of my drama degree and so I thought, I think I can do this. And two nights later I was at the Shores Hotel in Ballina doing stand-up for the very first time. I must have been crazy. That was February 2022. And here I am, you know, within two months. I don't know, I feel quite emotional. I think it's because when I connect to my ancestors and I think about my ancestors and I think about my grandmothers and my aunties who were so funny, who were just amazing comedians, that this opportunity would never be afforded to them. And so when I walk on stage, I take the spirit and the connection of my, my, my aunties and my nanas with me. How blessed I am to be here. And I just want to do them proud today. So that's why I'm so emotional. <laughs> that's right, I'm Janty, rhymes with Auntie. I am a BMW. A proud bachelor Mananjali woman from Queensland. <laughs> and I love a good acronym. Because you know what? I just tested for BBD. Big, black and deadly. And I've got the T-shirt to prove it. <laughs> oh, you're gorgeous. You're absolutely gorgeous. But Galangor Jali, Galangor above B, Galangor Neon, which means hello, thank you, welcome, and I'm single. <laughs> yes. It's hard to believe, isn't it? I want to date myself after this makeup. I thought, I, if no one wants to go out with me, I'm dating myself, okay? True God, I am. Um, there's a whole, who's on a dating app? Who's on a dating app in the audience? Put your hands up. Come on, come on. There's Elite, eHarmony, Bumble. What else is there? There's a thing called Christian Mingle. I'm the devil in disguise. I don't know if they'll accept me. But you know what? When you go on these dating apps, right... They want to ask you all these questions about your future, I won't say husband, future lover. And they ask you questions like, how tall do you want him to be? Do you want him to have kids? Does it bother you if he has kids? No. They want to know what pastimes, do you mind if he's surfing? No, not at all. Do you mind if he drinks or smokes? No, not at all. I just want to go on a date. But the most important question, when you're a woman in your 50s, right, heading towards your sixth decade, I want to know, has he had a hip replacement? <laughs> I, I want to know if he's had triple bypass surgery. I fucking want to know if his knees are real. Because when we're down heavy and hard and we're doing the jiggy jiggy, I want to know that this BMW is not going to have to do CPR. Wake up, you! Wake up! Wake up, wake up. It's been fun. Hey, honey. Woo. Round two? Yeah. Hey, who's the grandma? Who's an ucka in the audience? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yes. And when you're raising your kids and you're in the kitchen cooking, you know, you're in there and they're Mom, Mom, can I have some Milo? Get down with that fucking garbage. Get down with you. I love you. But when your grannies come along, it's like, oh, bub, oh, be careful. Okay, just take two steps to the right. Now, come down, come down. Oh, my God, he's so clever. <laughs> oh, my granny's going to be in the Olympic Games in Brisbane. But you know what? Have you noticed that there's a lot of gundus? That's gundus, jarjams. That's what we call our little, our little fellas. They name them after animals. In our family... We've got Woofy, Cubby, Raven, Birdie, Cookie, short for Kookaburra. And I go, what the hell's going on with them? Because Woofy and Cub have got three guinea pigs called Bobby, Darren and Graham. <laughs> and their dog, their dog, he's a mish dog. He came over from Palm Island. And his name's Albert Edward. And they call him, yeah, they call him Eddie for short. 
But hey, I've just been up in Bundjalung country. Who knows where that is? Oh, Bundjalung country. Byron Bay. All the Hollywood hipsters are going there these days. And I'm up there doing modern day walkabout, house sitting. <laughs> so much fun. Because I put Halle Berry's profile pic on my... And I got 100 hits. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going, fuck me. And then I show up. And I look like Halle Berry, don't I? No, I don't. Anyway, I'm reading in the marketplace. I think I want to move to Byron Bay. But to rent a room is about 500 bloody dollars. $500. And I look down, and for $500, you get to share it with eight other backpackers. <laughs> right? Okay. Eight other backpackers. And they say, you've got access to the rainforest. You've got access to the beach. You've got access to free yoga classes. And I think to myself, for that price, I want fucking access to the Hemsworth brothers. <laughs> yeah, true God. But I want to leave with you this, Melvin. I want to leave you with this. My favourite acronym in the whole wide world is a wa 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 Always was, always will be Aboriginal land. Thank you, I'm Jardy. Love you. Energy was, it was awesome, out of this world, and I just want to go and do it all over again. <laughs>